this like roller coaster tycoon uh yeah so this apparently came out today um it's been out for a bit for people that were in the play test but i wanted to wait for the full game but yeah it's supposed to be like planet coaster it's more so it looks like planet coaster than it does uh roller coaster tycoon it's one of those planet coaster looking games it's not like one of those is isometrics uh top down views like uh parkitect or roller coaster tycoon uh but what apparently makes this game amazing is they have an impossify feature so you're essentially supposed to create a theme park that looks just insane so uh, we'll see how that works so it looks like these people just come from this big parking lot over here so there's actually an origin of where people come from unlike some uh previous games that's pretty cute all right let's build something we can make a crazy kraken a pirate ship or a swinging pendulum how much does this cost 800 295 upkeep swinging pendulum just sounds awesome i got to get one of them in here how much land do i own Oh, up until that spot. Okay. Where do I want to put this guy? I'll make my own connecting path. Let's put him right there. Pull first. Oh, God, I made a path. Perfect. Yeah, I want to make sure, like, the main pathway down the entire park is enormous. That's what you got to do. And we got this thing at 12 width. Oh, look at that. Big, beefy lad. All right, let's see how much land we own, because we want to probably build appropriate for that. All right, so we'll start with this uh, this big beef job of a path. That makes sense to me, right? Because we don't want too many people getting stuck on each other right away. I know how to build a theme park, guys. I have a lot of hours on Roller Coaster Tycoon. All right, let's get the path back out. And then um, the exit of this ride. We don't want a big, thick path. Let's do a little path for exit. That works for me. And then where can we put the queue line? Let's do wood for the queue. Why is it so curvy? Why can't I just like... Do I turn curved off and it's still wilding? Dude! How do I go back? This is why I play Roller Coaster Tycoon. This is why I hated Planet Coaster. The paths are goofy. Could someone tell me why it's so fucking curved? Now it's not? Did I have to place something first for it to stop curving? Okay, I'm gonna get frustrated every time we try to do something. That can be fixed with bushes. I don't know what's going on, bro. Okay, um, we can probably open this. Looks like it's open, actually. And then, can we charge people to get into the park? Park entrance fee. I don't know if we have enough rides to uh, justify an entrance fee. We'll just do $5 for now, because we gotta get that coin up. And we probably wanna hire some staff. Look at all these people, though. They're just chilling. Listen to them talk and everything. They're coming to ride my ride, but they have no food. They have nothing else, but it's fine. They'll enjoy this. And I think this bar up here is our impossify thing. I might be wrong. Maybe it's not. I don't know when we can impossify stuff, but I'm excited for when we can. Are they ride again? Yes. All right. Um, let's get some facilities and some staff going. So let's do a janitor. Let's get a mechanic, a paramedic and an entertainer. Probably didn't need an entertainer yet. And then we can choose their salary. Let's do that threshold for all of them. We don't want them to be too happy, but just happy enough. Staff lounge. Why does it look like that? That thing sucks, are you kidding me? We can't make a better staff lounge? I wouldn't want to be them. Yeah, that sucks. Can we hide it back here? Just a cheeky staff lounge back there? Dude, no one's even gonna see, it's perfect. And then hopefully don't miss our ride starting. But I would imagine that's going to be starting soon. By the way, how much does it cost to ride this? Make that $5. Gonna need some more money there. We are selling tickets, though. We need to sell uh, 1,000 tickets. We already sold 16. Everyone's not entering my park, so I don't think they like the price. Let's just make it free to get in for now. I guess we turned off a lot of people. So that's just a cheeky path for uh, our employees to go down. So that way they have some energy, I think. All right, yeah, sorry. I didn't realize I didn't uh, let anyone get in. I guess these people are waiting for enough people to get on the ride now, so we're kind of screwed, but that's fine. Okay, that thing's swanging. Should we get some food in here? I would imagine they want some food. What food do we even have? Candy apple shop? A drink shop? Candy apple's the best food we have? Oh, wait, toilets are important. Get a little toilet action. Um, I'll put this over here. Hopefully it's not like... I guess it would make more sense to be on the main path. That's fine with me. 
the goofy looking toilet. It's a big arrow telling you where to take a shitums. And then let's do a drink shop right there. And let's do a food shop right next to it. How close can we get those two? I think that looks pretty nice. We'll touch it up with some trees then. Oh, nice. And I don't want our main street to be too crowded, but it's fine. Oh, we can change all the colors and everything. It shows all of its stuff. So it makes a lot of profit. It's not too amazing and it's fun. Dude, I feel like there's a lot of stuff here. We're truly amazed by the shining pendulum. Can we rename it? Beaties, Binners. I think that's pretty good. Uh, we also have roller coasters we can get in here. Let's get a few more flat rides and then we'll uh, we'll consider that. All right, let's do a pirate ship or a crazy kraken. Let's do crazy kraken. I think that could be fun. All right, we also need to utilize our land here because we don't have a lot of land. I can put it up there. Dude, no way. Sick. Because we should probably get a path layout going. Figure that all out. I think we're going to have our first branch off over here. So let's do it like that. Then we can put a few more shops right next to that main street there. That works for me. All right, so let's plan our paths out like an absolute genius. This one can be a little less wide. This isn't the main path. Oh, little loopy lad there. And then uh, we can make him 10 or 12 again. Cool. All right, we'll figure that out more later, but I think that's a nice little path layout. We can work with that. No one does it better. How many people we got in the park? Where's it show that at? 138? Okay. Are they happy? Where's all that at? Park level. Dude, there's so much stuff. Okay, so we get all this stuff if we get um, level one. Okay, that's interesting. We'll, uh, we'll choose what we want once we get there, so that's cute. What is this? This is our level of happiness, I guess? Cleanliness rating, and then this is our fun rating. We have a 32 fun rating. That seems pretty low, but we just started. Entrance too high, I definitely messed that up. Okay, Keon. And we're losing $57 right now. All right, let's get this guy going. A little bit of a path job. Then this is the exit, I guess. And then the queue line. I want a big snaking queue here. Oh, I... That's not awful. <laughs> it's not awful. All right, this thing's open, and we just need to get some people on it, and we'll be good. This this could be a park that we quickly fuck up so bad we have to just restart, and I think that's fine. All right, what trees should we go with? Oh, a big old stinking tree right there, dude. Boop. Okay, he might have been too big. <laughs> Might have been too big for the look we're going for there. Because I want to be able to see everything. There's probably a ton of this stuff. You can get a Joshua tree. Oh. And put a big Rubik's Cube down. Oh, this is sick, dude. I can do some crazy stuff. What is this ride? I want to watch it. That's the one they have over there. So that makes our park feel more connected, I guess, with the outside. Let's do a little bit of that. I'm glad it's nighttime and I can't see anything now. That's pretty cute. I feel like that ride looks pretty nice with this trees, though. It doesn't, like, stick out like a sore thumb anymore. Can we do the same for you? Beautiful. See, now he fits in the park a little bit better. We can even bring some trees over here for this pathway. Make them look like they were beautifully planted. And then maybe we can make the actual cues look better in the future. We'll put, like, some, uh, some other goofy stuff down. But for now, I think we're good. Are we making money? We are making $35, so we are profitable. Does it look like an amusement park from Jimmy Neutron? Well, I think it's going to look really crazy at some point. Like, let's get in here. Like, there's some cool stuff you can do. Like, these people just look awesome. Like, they're really, like, detailed people for a park game like this. Especially with how many that are running around. The game has some good atmosphere. I think we can probably charge to get people into the park now. Might be risky. I guess I clicked on Raul and friends instead of the park. Let's just do $3. Any little bit will help. We'll just have to make sure people aren't stopping and turning back. But I mean, two flat rides. I would pay $3 for that. Now, are they going to come in the park? They turned around. Entrance fee's too high. Okay, let's just not even do an entrance fee. Looks like people don't want to pay $3 for my shit park. Which I don't blame them. But I mean, I wish they would. All right, what does this ride do? Got some fun music. Looks pretty boring so far. Oh, 
Oh, it's a water ride? That makes sense because there's an octopus. I wasn't like <laughs> Spoke <Aids. laughs> I would ride that. I would absolutely ride this. The fee is a bargain. Okay, learn about it. Make that six dollars. This one has a good amazement level, not the best profitability. What are they saying about you? Is this also a bargain? It's a bargain. Okay. Six dollars. Learn about it. Gotta get the coin up, bro. Because I mean we only we already spent four thousand dollars and we're I'm not replenishing it too fast. Dude, my trees were perfect. Look at this. Are they still saying this is too cheap? The fee is very high. Oh, dude, you can't change any prices in this game, man. Jesus. I'm gonna keep everything at five. Crash bin. All right, we'll get a few trash bins down. I would imagine that would probably be enough. Can they get to that even though it's not technically on the path? What is this one? Wavy trash can. Okay, thank you. Well, it's a modest start to proceedings, but at least our visitor numbers are heading in the right direction. Thanks. Although they'd be hard pressed to go in the wrong one, all things considered. Interesting. Ominous message. We'll get some benches here. Maybe people want to sit down and have a tug. And we'll do one here as well. I would imagine that would be fine. Right, we got some trash cans and benches. Uh, we're making $106 right now. Not ideal. Maybe we just add the other flat ride. I don't know if we have enough people in here. I guess our rides are full. It wouldn't hurt to add more stuff. Yeah, fuck it. And then we'll work on roller coaster afterwards. So pirate ship's our next ride. Where do we want to put that? Right here wouldn't be the worst spot. Grab people's attention right off the rip. Is that connecting perfectly? And do we want to rotate this? I think we want the pirate ship to face the path there, so I think that's a good spot. Yeah, you see that pretty well when you come in. It might look better from the side, but I think that's fine. Is this the entrance? Or is that the exit? I don't know if I like the path system in this game. Okay, I guess the exit just looks like that at all times. Is this connected right? Yeah, I guess that's fine. We kind of wasted a lot of space with the queue line there, though. We don't have a lot of space. It was a stupid queue. Ah, fuck it. I'm sure it's fine. All right, it should be open now, right? Cool, $5 for that as well. And Fat Cat Freddy, thanks for getting a sub to Mr. Lister, the Sister Fister. And Fat Cat Freddy, thanks for getting a sub to Anal Avengers. And Fat Cat Freddy, thanks for getting a sub to Butthole Bruiser. Great community. That looks pretty nice. I'd fuck with that. It's not about making the most profitable park, guys. It's about having a park that you can be proud of at the end of the day. I think that's pretty important. See, our pirate ship's like one of our best looking attractions now. It's got all these bushes and flowers with it. Uh, K K -K -K uh, what the fuck? Commander Cream Pie? Thanks for getting a sub to Cum Addiction. Welcome back, Cum Addiction. Dude, look at my landscaping skills, chat. I'm killing it. No one landscapes like me, chat. No one does it this fucking good. Other people might have better, more profitable parks, but goddamn, mine looks great. A shark? Like, a shark's pretty piratey, right? I in the ground. Shark! <laughs> Shark! I don't know if that's the best idea to put it there. Unless we can pull it out of the ground. That was loud. All right, so we have increased our visitor capacity and a new lab expansion can be unlocked. Perfect! So can I get any of these? Uh, low throughput rides, fun focused rides. Classic rides. We can get a wave swinger, a drop tower, a Ferris wheel. Things teenagers love. Love their energy drinks, those teenagers. Liquid poison, what a treat. Let's do profitability. <laughs> Let's get the money flowing. I think that's important. All right, standard coaster, wide coaster, and wild mouse. God, I fucking hate wild mouses. All right, let's do standard coaster. Do they have prefabs? They do. I'm gonna start with the prefab. In the future, I'll build my own, but right now, I don't even know the controls, so I, it would just be a shitstorm. Oh, jeez. That's 2,000? That's not that bad. But I think we can fit this in if we're uh, crazy. I'm, I'm also, I do want to throw it out there. I'm not a big fan of people that use prefabricated rides in their, their games like this. I think it's bitch made to do that. Also, where is our expansion most likely gonna be? We're gonna expand this way. Like in Roller Coaster Tycoon, you will not catch me building a prefab. I'll tell you that much. I wanted it at that angle. It's kind of penisy, isn't it? Very penisy. 
I don't think that's horrible, right? Takes up that spot we're not using over there. Definitely gets your attention. <laughs> I wish it had more of like a skyline, you know? It's very, uh, very flat at the top. I'm curious how it works. This would be like more so the coaster I'm, uh, I'm thinking of. We'll get that one next. Let's start with this one. It's very penisy. I think it fits the vibe of uh, what we're going for here very well. Um, it is very penisy. It's like a perfectly ribbed cock. Uh, but yeah, I think it, it, it not uh, utilizing too much of our land, even though it's so massive, which is great. All right, let's get the, uh, let's get the path to it. And we would want the entrance to be at the front of the ride for max throughput. Um, and let's kind of just meander a nice, decent queue line through here. I also don't want people waiting in line too long, but I don't know if they will be. How do we bring the path down instantly? I'll put enough bushes around that, you won't even tell, guys. I'm bush guy, I can figure it out. Dead. I can fuck with that. This keeps everything in this part of the park, too. Nice. And we're about to, um, wait, how much does it cost to do a roller coaster? We can impossify our roller coaster right away. Maybe we don't, maybe we do a flat ride first so we don't blow our load right away. Okay, I'm starting to like this game a lot more now that I uh, have the controls down a little bit better. Um, is this open already? It is open. Four, f it's only costing that much. It's also not fun or amazing. Why wouldn't it be fun or amazing? I mean, it's a pretty shitty looking roller coaster. What is going on in this roller coaster, dude? Oh, I guess it's a powered launch, right? Looks like a powered launch. We'll figure it out. We'll wait for people to get on and we'll, we'll go from there. Oh, that's a big jasmine bush. All right, we'll just go big on the white flowers here. Some people might disagree with my flower choice, but you know, fuck you. We'll put a big tree in the middle. If this support isn't a problem, it's gonna be a problem. This looks like a launch coaster. They split off? Oh, Jesus, dude. I would not want to ride that. Oh my God, I, I would think I would die. People are putting some trash in some not so cool spots, dude. Now let's just get some more benches down. So I would imagine this game's probably like pretty smart. Like if, if you're a family, you probably want to have some rides that like families can enjoy. Or kids can enjoy while the mom and dads like stand by the things and everything. And don't actually ride it. I think we're good though. Uh, we are profiting 577 now. I would imagine people might actually consider to pay for our park. And we have an impossification. Let's do that. Okay, let's do our first impossification. I'm gonna choose this guy. How do we do it? Oh. So we'll do the roller coaster next. So we can turn the shining pendulum into the blazing pendulum. What do they want me to do? Oh, yeah, the wiggle. Okay, that's what it was. Fantastic, watching all the visitors wandering around, slack jawed with amazement. I can't think of another place you see people so full of wonder. Well, except the crowds at one of my attempts to break the record for longest shark jump. So what's different? All right, it's starting. It's happening. So something should be different. So hopefully, us with our keen eye can figure out what's different with the ride now. It seems pretty status quo. Very standard. I think that's different. That is that is definitely different. That is a hundred percent launching people into the sky. <laughs> that is one hundred percent different. I don't think we need too much of a keen eye on this. I am very curious to see what the roller coaster is going to be like after this. And just to clarify, these people are cool with this? You're cool with that? Anything to make your kids happy, I guess. Not a thought behind those eyes, Linda. Wow, okay. Very interesting. Yeah, can I make it $6 now? So what happened to the staff? Profitability is way higher now. Amazement is, uh, we definitely need to charge more then for sure. Oh, it already went up though. I had it at five and now it's, let's keep it at 650, we'll see. 
see what things change. Where can I see what my park guests are thinking? Do we have a few with zero happiness? Okay. Fine. Oh, so we have different categories. There's teens, there's families, there's adults, all visitors. Okay. I'm not going to fuck with this too much. I mean, it is what it is. If they're not happy, I mean, that's your fault. This park's fantastic. We have bushes that line our roller coaster entrances, you know? Like, how could you not like that? The pirate ship seems to be chilling. Everyone's still riding this. What is going on at the back of this? Is that default? Is that standard? It looks like they're still having a throughput of customers, but I'm not sure if that's supposed to look like that. Was it always like that? Maybe it's just fountains in the back? Okay. Oh. Cool. Looks like people are really stoked in my palm trees. Oh, we can try to make the uh, the entrance price cost more. We'll see. People have been uh, not so stoked on paying money to get into my park yet, though. Let's try $5. And let's just see if this group uh, goes back. And then we'll make a Ferris wheel or something like that. So are people just going to turn around or will they pay that to get in? They did not wow. pay. Looks like some of these rides can blow persons' backs out. Nice. I'm just gonna make it free for now. I, I'm not too worried. We are profiting a little bit, so I think for now we can just do this and then, I don't know, it's weird that people won't pay. Some are paying, some aren't. And honestly, I don't wanna like fine tune a threshold between zero and five, because that's such a sad threshold to be uh, worried about. Bumper brawl? It's like a big pinball machine. I'd rather see this. Ferris wheels are played out. We've seen pl Ferris wheels before, you know? All right, how much land do we on here? Up until that spot, okay. That's kind of unfortunate land owning. And then I guess if we buy more land, we can expand over here. I don't want to waste any space over here. And I also want to make sure we have space to put in another coaster. We could also just say fuck it and put in another roller coaster, which might financially cripple us. But it's only $2,000, we can afford this. I mean, geez, that'd be perfect, right? It's a little high off the ground. Is there any way to drop that? Or is it just automatically like that? Because I don't want it to be too supporty. Maybe it's just no matter where you put it, is it like that? I guess no matter where you put it, it's like that. I think this is perfect then. Because we're not going to use that mountain anyway. It's most. If you look at the layout of most like theme parks in the history of ever, most of their coasters are on the outskirts of the park. Uh, there's obviously exceptions, but I mean... They usually have their little dens and crannies on the outside of a park, so. Bam. Oh, that's just perfect. Just perfect. We might have to trim some tree here. No, I think we're good. No, we should definitely get rid of that tree. The coaster goes into the mountain. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? I don't know if I like that. You guys thought that was sick? You know what? We'll leave it then. Chat seems to think it's awesome. I could also even like touch up some of these boulders and like put another Mediterranean rock there or something. Uh, I wouldn't trust this support too much, by the way. Um, it's everything else looking good before we spend too much time fixing this. I still can't believe this ride, dude. Like, I would not ride this shit. Dude, what are these seats? Do you sit behind the seat? What the fuck, dude? That's just a glitch, right? Yeah, that has to be a glitch. <laughs> are we getting a little too crowded on Main Street? We got 511 people in here now. I think our queue lines are good. We want to have queue lines decently long. No one's riding this. The fee is too high. Okay, I'm not changing any fees, bro. The game set it to six. Let me just keep it at six. I'm not touching any fees. And it looks like this is working now. People are paying a dollar to get in. Let me try two dollars. I know I said I'd stop fucking with fees, but yeah. Is it broke down? People said it was maintenance is at three. How do I get it fixed? Go do something, dude. And then let me get one more janitor. And then paramedic. That's fine. No one's dying. Dude, I am loving this game right now. I think this is cool. Wait till we start building our own coasters. And I still just want to see this guy in, in action. Because, like, the best part of these games is building your own coasters and giving a good throughput. It's okay, guys. This will all be cut out in the YouTube video, and then just bam, there's gonna be a path at the end of each ride. Everyone's gonna be like, wow, Speedy's so fucking good at path. 
Okay, I think that's good. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Not ideal, but dude, put a tree on that. No one's even going to notice its ugliness. It's fine. And dude, have fun breaking your fucking leg when you get off the ride, dude. Straight to the fucking ground. Incline's too high? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> cool, I hate it. 10 minute walk to get off the ride? Yeah, you're kind of right. We can, this is important, let's get it right. Oh, people were about to ride it, but I guess I broke the lines so they stopped. That's not too steep. So I say we just break the, we just slide them off the fucking ride. Yep, deal with it. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, stairs would be preferred, but we can just say it's like handicap accessible or something, you know? It'll be, it'll be perfect. All right, are there people riding this again? Yes, they is. Are they riding this? Yes, they sure is. Are we profiting? 628. We're not making a lot of money, but I guess it's fine. I think our park looks pretty, by the way. Like, dude, that looks good right there. That's a good shot. It's so good. Unfortunately, we got nighttime, which kind of sucks. Dude, this looks insane. This looks insane. Like how half the coaster doesn't even have supports. Like the entire top of the roller coaster. Oh my god, it splits. And then it gets back in line together. Dude, the roll building a coaster yourself must be insane. I'm surprised the game only has four prefabs, because like I wouldn't be able to do anything like this. Jesus. And then we go into our little tunnel section over here. Noise. I made that. Okay, that's actually awesome. What are the stats on this guy? Did you guys like it? Do you like the slide exit? <laughs> okay, it doesn't look that bad. Their legs are glitching into the ground, but it's fine, dude. It's fine. All right, what, yeah, what are the stats on this guy? We can impossify it. 250 to ride that? Bruh. I feel like we're just losing money on this thing then. 250 for that? The fee at Wide Coaster 1 is quite okay. It's a bargain. We were truly amazed by it. All right, we might as well just call this the White Flower Park. I mean, Jesus Christ, dude. Maybe we're going a little too crazy on the White Flowers. Maybe we calm this down for a bit. So we can impossify something. This ride just opened. I feel like people are already stoked on it. Some chatter said you can first person the coaster. Motion sickness warning, five seconds ago. Good luck. Jeez, dude. Third person camera. Okay, let's get a third person view of this next then. We'll wait for it to fill up. The hundred and... Okay, so yeah, this ride's messing our income up. Should we impossify it and hope it, uh... We can charge more for it? Why is it not a more profitable ride? Surprised it's not fun to people. Like, this should cost way more. This is crazy, bro. Okay, it's probably just gonna make some people sick. There's not even that many seats. I guess there is, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, that's pretty neat. I'm sure, the motion sick viewers are really enjoying that right now. So we got a full queue for that. We need to figure out why people. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. This thing's fucking our income. Do we try impossifying it? All right, let's see what that does to the ride. I don't think that was the best idea. I feel like since this ride was new, people are already going to ride it no matter what. But this ride probably isn't the hot ride in the park anymore, as you can see. So it would have been better to maybe impossify this one to get people excited about both of them at the same time instead of just one of them. But it's fine. I want to see what happens to this. We'll make some mistakes. This is our first playthrough. This is like our test park. Um, so we'll see. I just don't understand. Because in like Roller Coaster Tycoon, like no one's going to pay $5 for this. And people would pay $10 for this. But for some reason in this game, this is $250 and that one's $5. Like that's weird to me because this is actually a nice ride. Yeah, we're losing money now. We got to figure this out. Does anyone know what's different? I'm not sure if I know. People are saying it's a bargain. Maybe we can try uh, charging three for it. 
see where that goes because are people still gonna get on it looks like it looks like they're still interested in getting on it like they're getting on it at three dollars all right so we got our mission accomplished here we definitely want to get these both going at the same time we're about to also get this one too that's good and then maybe we can impossify this one next or something because i mean i do love our coasters in here our park's looking pretty uh pretty dapper i'd say but we're definitely losing some monies and we continue to lose monies uh maybe it's because people want food but they're stuck in line for food bending machine small ass to mouth machine wait hold on let's do savory snacks next to this what the fuck's happening here dude why can't you just put them next to each other? That's weird, but people will probably like this. And then what's this one? Sweet snacks. Why are those people running in place? Why is there grass going through my vending machine? Fuck it. I'm just happy it's there. And let's get an ass to mouth machine somewhere as well, because we definitely don't want people to leave the park because they ran out of money. That would be pretty bad. So let's get an ass to mouth right there. And then maybe one more ass to mouth machine right there. Because I can definitely make this look nicer. These people are glitched the fuck out, though. What is happening here? They're going to visit Speedy Spinners. They want some souvenirs. I'll get you a plushy shop soon. All right, what are people saying about this? Are they still going to pay this? The fee is very high. So, to the people that said, just make the entrance fee cost more, that's why I didn't. The queue is full. I'm not going to ride it. I mean, people are still riding it at that price, but let's just try, like, 370 all right, yeah, let's get another flat ride in. I think that would look pretty cool. And maybe it should be turned for so you see it when you first come into the park. I think that'd be cool. Bam! Yeah, because that way when you come in, you can you can sort of see the Ferris wheel over there. I think that's cool. We kind of put some palm trees in the way of it. I don't think anyone would do that in real life, but it's fine. We'll do that. We'll put some shops and stalls there. Although sending people out here is just wasting their time right now. It's not where I wanted that, but I guess it works. That yeah, should be fine. I don't think our spatial management was that great. <laughs> yeah, I think that kind of fucks there. Yeah, it's like we're at a theme park. This looks sick. I don't know what happened. I'm sliding. And then at this point, I guess we are going to have people in this part of the park. So let's just make like a path bench. I mean, a path uh, trash can penis going to that. What happened to our path here? Is that just because these are different? Is that a void people can fall in and just die forever? Okay. Good. Will people pay just a wee bit more to get in the park now? So I, I need this number to go up. Maybe we just do that. I don't think that fucks with the path too much. Yeah, I think that makes that ugly path less ugly. And hopefully it isn't infringing on people's vending machine experiences. The entrance fee is quite okay for the rides they have here. And do they come in? Three dollars with all these rides? Like, dude, people pay like sixty-five dollars a person to go to Hershey fucking Park, dude. Like, we have two roller coasters. Pay three dollars. Like, are you serious? Maybe this bench is not in the best spot. <laughs> Maybe it's just the groundskeepings group the problem, you know? Okay, so we can now impossify something else. Should we do the Ferris wheel to get people over to it? See what the Ferris wheel does with an impossification? Because it doesn't seem like the roller coasters change too much. Is this making us money? Yeah, this is making us three. Okay, so we're profitable even with the sadness that this coaster is uh, getting us with. Let's see what the Ferris wheel does. Might as well, because right now it feels a little slow and boring. I think it could use some love. Just a few short years ago, building this ride would have been impossible. Not for any technical reason, it's just that safety regs were a lot tighter. Bro, there's two of them shits. There is two of them shits. Dude, that is incredible. So it just, it drops them down to the spot. Dude, that's nutty. It's it's still a very slow ride. Let me just speed it up for a visual purpose here. Damn. That is just straight dropping them. Dude, that is crazy. It looks safe. I mean, dude, have you seen this guy? <laughs> also, I mean, look at this coaster. I would not trust this. 
Nope. No thank you. Actually, I want to ride this. I want to ride this in first person and see how close that gets. I will wait for it to fill up again. The fee is quite okay. We were truly amazed by dual wheel. Still think it could use some uh, tidying up on the entrance, but yeah. Also, another issue with this game in terms of profit, and maybe the game's designed like this on purpose, but on Roller Coaster Tycoon... Let's do a back card here, yeah. On Roller Coaster Tycoon, I would, like, have... You would have more trains, right? So this one would be filling up while the other one's already on the ride. Where'd those kids come from? How close do you get to dying here? Oh, no thank you, dude. No thank you at all. Oh my god. Please tell me this coaster's called the Spurinator. This is a pre-build, and it is very penis-y. It kind of looks like a penis, like, a bakery item, where it has, like, that folded over, like, bread stuff, you know? It kind of looks like that. Okay, these two trees kind of fuck here. I think that was a good decision. So I guess some of these trees... Oh, sweet. Money! All right, so let's keep selling tickets. Let's keep selling uh, park entrance fees, I guess. And I think we just have an issue of no one riding the dual wheel. Why does no one want to ride the dual wheel? Okay, I guess they are riding it. It's just... I mean, that's the new impossified ride. You'd think people would be on it more. It seems like there's also a need for food in the park. And right now, I only have vending machines for the most part. And we should probably get some more trash cans over here. Because it doesn't seem like anyone wants to fucking use one! You can impossify janitors, too. Which we may have to consider. Like, we can impossify a janitor right now. I don't know if that'd be like... It's not very sexy, though. But, like, you can impossify staff and shops, too. Littering next to the bin is insane, though, bro. Why wouldn't you just use the fucking rubbish bin that's right here? That's just weird to me. Like, just fucking use the rubbish bin, dude. I'm not hiring a new staff member. I think this can be fixed. Heat map. Land extension. Okay. So, heat map. These are the people that need more drink. These people need food. These people need the toilet. Honestly, another bathroom would not be a bad idea, but it's a pretty small park, I guess. Nausea, Neuphoria, seeking souvenirs. We have no souvenirs. That's just missed out money, because everyone here wants to buy a fucking plushie. Everyone seems pretty happy, though. Like, I think we're doing a pretty good job managing a park for most, uh, for the most part. And then land expansion. Holy fuck. So it's 3k, and we would get this whole spot right here. So yeah, whenever we do expand out, I think we should definitely go by the balls over here. And then we'll build, like, another big loop here. So that way there's circular mo movement with everyone. I think that'd be smart. All right, so that did fuck our money a little bit. But I think we're about to get a cash influx from these two, so I think it's fine. And now we can start expanding and, and planning our pass out pretty well. I guess we do want our pass to be more flowing because it is a theme park. Straight lines are not very attractive in a theme park, so kind of makes sense. Maybe I should just fix this too. Hold on, let me just do that. It's going to make these people lost, but and this one was a 12 or hopefully that just connects right. Okay, I think that's perfect. That will fix our issues. Let's just make them all 10 from now on. I think that's thick enough though. I mean, geez, 10, 10 would do quite the damage, I would imagine. Oh boy. Um, and then should we get like a pube tree down here? I mean, that would make a lot of sense. Let's just get like a accent pube tree. That's right at the fucking balls, dude. There's no reason not to. I still feel like we need some big accent piece right here. Let's find a stupid uh, scenery thing to put there. Just for now. We can always get rid of it. Like the world's biggest Rubik's Cube. Bam! Totally fits the pirate vibe, by the way, chat. Also, I hate these benches here. Sorry. At least those two. They just were fucking the vibe up. All right, Rubik's Cube's not popular with chat. Chomp, chomp. A water fountain? Let me see if there's a fountain option. That's a good idea. Ooh, wait. Whoa, that's a sick feature. We could have, like, something like that where the path goes through at some point. 
That could be something more so for like right when you first enter the park, I think would look cool. Yeah, it's definitely a, hey, I just got to the fucking park and it looks awesome type of thing. Is that angle right? Yeah, that's very, oh, we're here. Yeah, let's work on our entrance. We never really worked on the entrance. All right, so if we're making a nice entrance, one thing it's definitely gonna need is bush. Can't be taken anywhere, bro. Just to cover up some of that ugly. And we'll get some of these cute little agave looking motherfuckers. I don't know what they are. I guess they're just like a spiky grass lab. That way people are stoked in my park when they first come in. So I do think that's quite the view when you first come through. Nice. It's a little off center on the path, but does anyone care? It goes well with the blue in the background too. Desert tree stump, very phallic. And maybe one more here next to the Aston Mouth machine and one more right about there. And I think we got a park entrance. Doesn't have to be too crazy. Well, that is a park entrance if I've ever seen one, chat. That is a park entrance right there. Welcome to the park. All right, and it looks like all this trash over here is not getting picked up. We have a serious trash issue. What if I impossify her? What, what happens? Incinerator. Sophia endorsed impossification for janitors. This isn't sexy, but. Oh, that new Bincinerator is going to be a big hit with the janitors and the guests. And it's surprisingly safe. Just so long as nobody throws away any fireworks. Wait, no fucking way, dude. Oh my god. I can change my flower color? Oh my god. Dude, I mean, there's a lot you could do. I, I feel like decorating is more fun than making rides in this game. Like, I, I kind of like keeping it small scale so I can just, like, decorate some dumb areas here. Like, it's Minecraft. Oh, yeah, I was going to put that other ride in. We Maybe we Oh, my God, this caught on fire. Oh, my fucking God, it's on fire. I don't think that's a part of the possification. Maintenance level's at zero. Okay, that's probably not good. Um... Now, if you wanted to make your ride not on fire anymore, how would you do that? Let me look at our staff. Yeah, I'm gonna get more maintenance because they seem to be overwhelmed. Are we even very profitable? We're not really that profitable right now. Like, we're not making a lot of money. And it doesn't seem like you're allowed to charge for your extra things. Is there any way to use this roller coaster then, chat? Like, am I doing something completely wrong? The fee is high. I have this thing impossified already, which should make it better, and we're just losing 400 plus dollars a month on it. Like, why? This is impossified and it has shit stats. Is it just a horrible coaster? Like, it's a prefab. Is it just a bad prefab and the devs just didn't make a good coaster? Did we just rip it out and put a different coaster in? It's a shame, too, because it looks so good there. Everything's fine. Hey, it's on fucking fire, Gene. I would walk a little quicker. So this one is fun and it has good profitability maybe we should just get this guy in just put it in the same spot just say fuck this thing yeah i don't know how to fix this ride i feel like it's just lost cause you get your money back you get one thousand back okay Okay, let's um, delete this path. Sag. And let's put that other roller coaster in if we can. That thing had a higher profitability level. That was a prefab. Maybe the prefab just sucked. Definitely possible. It doesn't seem that bad right there. That kind of goes into a bunch of area that we're not really using. And it would be on top of the Kraken ride, which is pretty cool. I think that's the play. We'll have to fix these trees, but I think that would slap pretty hard. Nice little queue line underneath for ride interaction. And we could probably just do a little lad right here. Incline's too high. Oh, I didn't realize we were up a little bit there. My bad. That's disappointing. The fuck is happening here? What the fuck? Oh. That's the lady I had take care of stuff. Interesting. If we go there, we'd be able to do it. You know? The other coaster was so sexy looking, though. And we lose that now. And theoretically, this ride shouldn't fuck us as hard. But this is only 380 to upkeep, so yeah. The other coaster was, uh, we were hemorrhaging money on it. Really sad. And this is not catching on fire anymore, and hopefully people ride it. 
speed up the game a bit? I right, let's put another flat ride in. Speedy, I wanted to thank you for streaming, I got a new monitor for my plant room. They have been loving your streams and the supernova light you provide. The supernova. I don't know if that's the best spot for that, but I think it's fine. Well, I guess... Hold on, let me go back and just flip it. It would be better the other way. Unless we wanted to put this Himalayan adventure here since it's like rock based. And we're right up against the rocks. Yay, money! Yeah, I don't know if we can get this in here. Too close to the path? I guess it's not. Kind of an interesting spot for it. I don't know if it's the best idea. We'll have this like two dueling entrances. And we can get that going there. All right, that could use some serious bush for uh, prettifying, but we'll figure that out. I want to see what this ride does though. I'm pretty curious. Looks like just bumper carts, but I imagine it gets crazy, especially when you uh, impossify it. 